for tonight. Two more sleeps. Two more sleeps. Two more sleeps and you know yourself. Folk fishing out the fancy delf. Folk wishing another folk was folk in there. Might pop down to church and spark up a token flare. Two more snoozes, I a list as long as a piece of string. There is no way on Mother Earth to get around to everyone and everything. There is no time to tick all of these boxes. Might stroll up Talbot Street and get the lot of them socks. Two more cool abula colours under the duvet covers and I get to be ripping the wrapping paper. Five for fifty. Old school. Jesus. Moore Street's mental. My pop in for the swifty. Old Phil. I'm feeling dizzy, so bleeding busy is this Christmas time. So universally commercial, yet so individually personal is this Christmas time. And my whole life long, I've adored it dearly. Clearly, I'm sellotaped at being Christmas cheerly, yearly. Two more pillets, so seriously thankful for this cushion. I'm only one bounce away from the beat of a homeless street poor cushion. See, I can easily picture me in abject poverty and fantastic clarity. Such a tin tinsel line, mankind needing charity. It's Christmas Eve, Eve. See the drunk tank god of an iPod and the latest top lap man. Two more crashed out kips and that bearded bloke from Lapland is going to shimmy down the chimney. Och, and more than likely there will be a disobedient battery. A 1.5 V that refuses to respond to rubbish flattery. Och, and I can see it sharply and hardly. I can hear the pitter pattery of slipperless feet excitedly descending the stairs. Freaking and creaking, but sure there ain't no parents glares this hour of the dawny dusk. Oh, I hope my unicorn has a rainbow tusk. Two more sleeps, you know the sus, no sign of a jaw, no sign of a bus. For one day, no other them, only us. To one and all, have a ball. I wish you all a lovely Chrissy Muss. <laughs> John Cummins there with uh, two more sleeps. John, just um, you, uh, that festival, the other voices that you were at, yeah. the poetry that was involved in that, is that a first for a poet to be down there? What were you What were you doing? I don't know. I've, it was my first, anyway, mm. trying to be there. Um, I really don't know, but uh, somebody, I was, that was mentioned to me, so I, I don't know. You'd have to check that out. You, know? you, you were part yeah. of the music trail. What exactly, how does that relate to what happens in the church in Dingle? Yeah, it's like, uh, there was a, there's music on, say, from, well, on the Friday, it was like from five o'clock till when the church began, which was probably around eight o'clock. Then there was church music as it were and then afterwards then there was more live music in the pubs but the the most I suppose bizarre thing I don't know if you've ever experienced something like this but it was like when the music in the church if you didn't fit in it's a small enough space it was streamed live into the pubs like you know and so people were sitting there like all like you know seriously and silent and listening and clapping along at the end and all it was Beautiful, like it was really like. So as silent as if they were at the at actual the gig, event itself. Yeah, and they'd look out the window and see the church. You know the kind of way. You know, you know what I mean. It was like it was, it was bizarre. It was great. So you, you clearly enjoyed yeah, yourself. It was like the World Cup of live music or something like that. You know? <laughs> A good description of it. <laughs> and I know you're performing at Nighthawks at the Cobalt on That's Saturday, right. the January the tenth. We'll be talking more about that later. So happy Christmas to you and yours, and thanks for that uh, lovely seasonal two more <laughs> sleeps, um, John Cummins. Right.